Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel CodeLogic. So in this series we are seeing the hospital management system using Angular and Firebase. This is the 10th video of the series. So without wasting any time, let's start with the demo part. So in our previous videos we have seen how to add the doctor patient. Okay. So uh, we have implemented the view, edit and delete operations for doctor. And similarly I have given you a task to implement the operations for the patient. So you can see here. I have done that when you click on the edit the patient information is showing up in the form okay so this is how it's updated and when we click on the delete button that patient will be deleted okay so in this video we are going to see the patients which are assigned to particular doctor okay so whenever you click on the doctor here uh, in the doctors tab we are going to see the patients which are taken care by this particular doctor okay so yeah in this video we are going to cover that so without wasting any time let's get started with the coding part So we'll go to the SRC app shared folder. We have one data service inside which we have written one method get all patients. You can see here. Okay. This is the method. Which is so now uh, we'll go to our components inside doctor. So we have uh, one component view doctor. So we'll go inside that view doctor component.ts file. Here uh, we are going to call the method get all patients for particular doctor. Okay. So inside which we are going to call the method data API dot get all patients. And we are going to subscribe to that method and we'll check for the result. Here uh, first we need to create one array of patients. So I'll name it as all patients which is of type any and initially its value will be empty. I'll make it as patient. Okay. Now here all patients equals to result dot map and we are going to iterate over the map so e of type any will create one variable here constant data e dot payload dot doc dot data this is how we get the data from firebase and we are going to check for the ID so data dot ID equals to data dot patient ID equals to e dot payload dot doc dot ID okay now here I uh, will check if data dot doctor underscore ID is exactly equals to the ID which we have created the variable here then uh, we'll just return the data okay so that means that patient is from for that particular doctor okay so now uh, here uh, we are going to print the data using console log in developers window And on nginit method, we are going to call that method get all patients for doctor. So our application is still running. Now uh, we'll go to the patients inside patient compound.html file. Here uh, we have the table. Okay. So we'll copy the table as it is. And We'll paste it inside view doctor component 
html file okay here uh, we'll remove the two methods now uh, we'll go to the patient component.ts file and we'll copy these four lines display column data source paginator and sort and we'll paste it here at the start of file and after that we'll quick fix and we'll add missing parameters now we have this method apply filter so we'll add that method in our view doctor component.ts file then we'll go to the we'll copy these two methods view patient and edit patient and we are going to paste that inside view doctor component.ts file will inject all the parameters okay then uh, we have to import here dialog private dialog of type mat dialog config okay now inside doctor component.ts file we have this open snack bar method so we'll copy that and we'll paste it here so this will show us the snack bar we have to inject the snack bar in constructor so for that uh, we'll copy this line and we'll paste it inside our constructor here at view doctor component.ts file we'll quick fix the methods we'll add all the import statements now we'll check for the error so here uh, there is a method get doctor name okay so we'll remove this column as doctor is the same and from here also we are going to remove the column doctor and we'll add new column there prescription we'll change the order so after mobile it's gender and then prescription and here uh, we can see there is a problem on open because uh, we have injected the wrong dialog so it should be mad dialog okay so now uh, we'll create new column here so we'll copy the column gender and paste it here we'll change the mat column definition to prescription and we'll change the header okay So uh, here uh, we'll go to the doctor component.ts file inside the get all doctors we have these three lines of code uh, which is going to assign the doctors array to the data source so similar kind of thing we are doing here so here uh, we are assigning the values of patients to the data source array and page nature and sort will be there and we are going to copy the CSS for table and we are going to paste it inside the view doctor component dot CSS okay just below the mat card title we we'll close the file and we are going to put the table inside one div tag and for that div tag we'll add one class m3 that is margin 3 from all sides okay here uh, we are going to filter the patients so all filter all patients dot filter 
will check for the item if item is exactly not equals to undefined then uh, we are going to return that to the all patient array okay and after that it's showing in the data source so yeah that's it so we'll refresh the page for this particular doctor there are two patients okay you can see Omkar and Nikita's names are there okay you can see view and edit you can view the patient similarly you can edit the patient also okay now we'll check for the second doctor we'll click on view you can see here and these are the patients for this particular doctor okay so yeah that's it for the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video till then bye bye